so lots of people think two knots can cancel. Um, so in other words, that if you have a knot A, oops, and the knot is not A, and the knot B and they're tied in the same piece of string, that's not B, that maybe you can just continuously move that string until it's all unknotted. So let's just imagine that that's the case. And let's suppose that we start off like that at 12 o'clock, and then at 1 o'clock, the same picture will look like this, if, if we're right. In other words, you can just move A and B until they completely cancel. Well, I think anybody who can do that is a magician, because knots don't cancel. And the way I proved this when I was at high school in England is like this. You imagine that you can do it. Let's say the magician can do it. And then, oops. You go out and buy some inner tube, nice, big, soft inner tube, and uh, you put it around the mouth like that, so that what it does, this inner tube, is it swallows A, and then follows B. Anyone want to see that? So what I'm going to do now is at 1 o'clock, I'm going to just look in the vertical plane only. And that vertical plane will contain this yellow piece of string, and it will intersect the inner tube in some loopy manner like this. And there may be places like this that I'm going now, where fingers of inner tube went through the plane. Okay. So now I'm going to take my green French chalk and walk along the curve like that, marking it. And it's pretty obvious it's got to come out of the top right because it's not allowed to cross this string here. And it can't get to the bottom left or bottom right. So there it is. And now we just ask the magician to undo things. And then we see that what he had was a curve in the inner tube, like this. It goes from top left to top right, so it must be knotted like B. But you can see from this picture that it wasn't knotted at all. So B wasn't knotted, and similarly A wasn't knotted. Two real knots don't cancel, they weren't real knots.